All right, guys, how's it going? It's nearly 10 to 9 in the morning. It's the 25th of September 2019. Let me grab my coffee. So in case you're unaware, every Wednesday I'm going to pick five or six different website links and I'm going to drop them here in the videos. On a Friday, I'll drop the Blender news and that'll be a little bit more targeted. And in between, I'll make tutorials. And I'll desperately try and avoid making ones with a thumbnail that look like a penis. But anyway, let's get into the news. Sketchfab. Sketchfab Plus. Now, if you've never seen Sketchfab, you're probably living under a rock, but it essentially lets you upload 3D models. It's ideal if you're wanting a portfolio or maybe showing a client work. Now, Sketchfab Plus falls in between their basic plan and their pro plan. $7 a month if you pay annually or 9 if you pay monthly, and it's a pretty good bargain to be fair. And it's a different alternative to kind of art station. So, I highly recommend Sketchfab. Now, Subcolor is a very basic website, but it actually lets you generate a colour palette. And this can be good if you're a designer and you're looking for ideas. But I also highly recommend Coolers.co. This is a bit more fleshed out, and it also gives you the option to actually save out, and you can take this into Photoshop or any other kind of application that supports colour palettes. So if you're struggling for ideas for a colour palette for maybe a logo, highly recommend Coolers. Now, the next thing. 100,000 faces generated by AI. Now, why you would need 100,000 faces, I have no idea, but they're free. So you can quietly browse the Google Drive and download them for free. Uh, so, again, that's generated.photos. The next thing is by Quinton. I'm not even going to pretend to pronounce his second name. But he's developed a nice application, and it's called Point Cloud Sandbox. So let's take a look. And this is his animation here. Pretty damn sexy, to be fair. So Point Cloud lets you either upload a model, or you can use the base one here for example. And it lets you influence the Point Cloud. So if you're wanting this kind of abstract physics animation, it's pretty damn handy. Now you can hit spacebar to pause, and then what you can do is you can actually export out the Point Cloud. Now this can be taken into Blender, Lightwave, Modal, whatever. So this is a great way to do some abstract stuff. He's done it in a Houdini here, and it's superb. Now just to wrap up, I'll put a bit of spotlight on an artist here, and it's Atranus 3D, I do hope I'm saying that right, probably not. Uh, the guy posted on Facebook, I've seen it in Octane Rendered Group, but this animation's pretty damn dope. Now for legal reasons I don't want to play it too much, but it gives you a nice VFX breakdown, and I highly recommend you jump onto the guy's Instagram account and give him a quick follow. That's been Industry News. Thanks for watching. You know what to do. Hit that like and subscribe button. Peace.